If the kitchen's where you'd rather have your friends and family gather, you should hit the like and subscribe down below. And if filling plates and platters while maintaining flavor matters, then there's a stellar cook that you should know. It's Rain, the planet with a palate. They'll keep you fed and coming back for more. So come on, take up space. Rain will make a tasty plate. And tell the Diet Karens where to go. It's the Planet with a Palette Cooking Show! All clean. Howdy y'all and welcome to the Planet with a Palette Kitchen. So some days I like to take a lot of time, a lot of care, a lot of real like, you know, TLC with my food. There's certain things that you can make, you can just whip up, you know? Um, if you're gonna make a roasted chicken, it doesn't require that much to make a decent roasted chicken, but I have a little extra time today and I'm feeling in the mood to cook. So we are gonna give this chicken, this whole chicken, we're gonna give it a little bit of a spa day. We're gonna like put it in a little bit of a short brine, I guess, um, a quick brine if you will, for a few hours. Let the seasonings and all the, um, our wet, our wet brining ingredients just get in there and it's gonna be so good. Oh my gosh, I'm ready. Are y'all ready for a classic dinner? A roasted chicken and vegetables? I am. Gonna rinse our little chicken. pull the neck and the giblets out. Whenever you have a whole chicken or a whole turkey, there's always almost something in the cavities. You gotta check them. In a turkey, you'll have two things. You wanna pull out the neck and usually like some giblets and a liver and heart and stuff. And I think that's what we're working with here on this chicken as well. We're actually going to boil that stuff because we're going to use it later. All right, for a different recipe. We're going to use it to make some gravy. I love gravy out of chicken livers. And like I've said, as I say often on the show, and um, we don't waste a lot of things in this house. We really, I really like having a kitchen that's sort of self-sustained. If things can't go to waste, they, you know, like if things go to waste, they get composted or they get replanted or we take all the ingredients, extra ingredients and we use it. Um, we are gonna create a brine that's just gonna be so good. And we're gonna start with one of my favorite things Come on, y'all all know garlic. <laughs> this is what I mean when I say our chicken is about to have a spot day. Because we're gonna be putting all kinds of crazy stuff in here. We'll start with some garlic. Slice a couple of oranges. Put it down in the cavity. Get a little squirt here. Yeah, a splash of white wine vinegar. You could also use apple cider vinegar. Sort of make up for the missing apple in that apple cider vinegar. We are having a tea party this weekend, but I am gonna use a couple, but I'm gonna use a couple of the dehydrated apples that Mars made for our tea party. Yes. A little splash of soy sauce. This is a weird one, y'all. You ready? Woo! A little 
little bit of Coca-Cola. Y'all know how good chicken is when you add a little pickle juice? We are gonna use, from my episode, um, my Texas nacho episode, we're gonna use these jalapeno bread and butter pickles. Just a little bit of the juice here. One of our peppers got in, that'll be just fine. We like a little spice in here. Some Old Bay lemon and herb seasoning. Remember, this is just our brine, so we can really season it up. This is some salt-free table blend that I get from Aldi. It has some good celery in there. And speaking of celery, we're gonna need some aromatics. But first we need some ice cold water. Yeah. Some, some onion. Yeah. Compost. And then a little bit of cinnamon. What? I know it sounds weird, but it's so good. So, so good. A little bit more liquid in here. Someone hit it with a little bit more Coke. Soda, soda, soda. A big part of the brine. It's gonna be some salt, of course. We are gonna salt liberally. Using some canning and pickling salt, which I love for a brine. All right, get some nice aromatics in here. Some onion, celery, carrots. last but not least, ooh, some rosemary. This is a flavor bath, baby. And the last important part for a brine is you want it to be cold. You're giving it a cold bath, so it's like an ice bath. Normally you do it for a few days. We don't have a few days today. Well, you do it for a few days if you were doing a turkey because it's much bigger. Throw some ice in there, but also, I don't know if y'all remember this, but I had some delicious pineapple hearts that I threw in the freezer last week, originally to put them in a cocktail, but I love a good citrus in my chicken brine, so now we are hitting it with some pineapple. We're just gonna keep it a good little shake, let everything get down in there. We're just gonna let this sit in the sink for several hours and let all these flavors get deep into our chicken. Hey everyone, it's been a few hours. We have had our chicken brining in this interesting mixture that we've made. And yesterday I had all these ideas going on at once for a brine. I'm mean, gonna be honest with you, I have made a roasted chicken about a million different ways. I kind of winged this one. I got real, everybody's so creative. That's one of my favorite like content creators who does reels and stuff about food. She watches all these, you know, like TikTok videos and stuff where people are like, okay, put your raw, put your like raw noodles in the pan and then just wrap the beef around them and all this stuff. And it's like, you know, it's such a fascinating train wreck. I have watched so many of those kind of videos myself, just literally being like, maybe there's some new weird cooking technique I didn't know about, but like somewhere through it, you know, if you know anything about food, you're like, this looks like it's not gonna work out. Well, this is, we're gonna call this one experimental chicken. <laughs> freaking chicken again. Um, but yeah, the thing is, I just, I went a little bit crazy yesterday putting stuff in here. I knew I wanted, it's all about like the elements for me and I really love building a flavor profile. So I love trying new stuff together. 
but it's like, oh, I know that chicken's really good if you soak it in pickle juice. But I was like, well, I have this, you know, sweet and spicy pickle juice. And then I'm like, well, I know that, you know, it's really good if you soak it in Coke, that'll give it a little sweetness. The red wine vinegar gives it that little vinegar kick that you need. The earthy tones. And a brine's a lot different. Like, I don't know if you've ever brined a turkey, but that's usually what I do for the holidays. And a brine is a lot different than like, than an actual like, just marinade because a brine you're giving it like an ice bath it's the whole thing it's not going to stay on it we're not going to have marinade left over that turns into a sauce or forms into a crust it's going to give it a, a flavor palette but it's going to make it really subtle and hopefully if my experiment went well you know really come out the flavors um, what I'm going to do with this chicken is I'm also going to let y'all know, since I haven't actually made this recipe before, like I just threw a bunch of stuff in the pot to make my chicken. I just knew I wanted to brine it. So here we are. Um, so with the experimental chicken episode, I will also be letting you know if there's anything I think we could have done without in the brine. So because it's been sitting in this brine for a while now, several hours, I think what I'm gonna do at this point is put it in my roasting pan, which I'm super excited about. So this is my beauty. I do collect Pyrex. I have a pretty small Pyrex collection. Um, I collect pieces that I actually use and this is my pride and joy. This is the bell of the ball, if you will my favorite piece in my collection. This is my snowflake blue and I got her one year for Christmas from my ex-parent-in-laws and it was a very thoughtful gift and she has made me many, 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 oh many delicious meals. So let's hope that this experimental chicken is one of them. Let's see if this is gonna be tasty or if this is gonna be my everybody's so creative moment. Listen, I'm not going to lie though. <laughs> I, if she reviewed one of my videos, I would be so delighted. Like she is a delight. I love her. She's so funny. Okay. What I'm going to say about this, I opened up the pot where it's been brining. Oh, and the first thing I notice is the smell. I did put a lot of weird stuff in here. Let's get real. I didn't even realize how wild I was getting with it until I was on the phone with my best friend Ivy yesterday and I was also talking to Mars about it afterwards and I was like, and I put this and this and then I added this and then I did this. I was doing the most, I really was, but the sweetness from the fruit, the citrus, the, oh, it's earthy, it's bright. It's salty. I I think it's gonna be good. Pot of goodies. I wish you could smell this. It's not even cooked yet. It smells amazing. So let's make some chicken magic. I really am into doing something which I like to call kitchen witching. It, it's not that I did not coin that phrase. <laughs> That's not a plan with a phallic phrase. I do kitchen witching. I am, um, you know. I'm a witch and like I do lots of little, little things, you know, and stones and tarot and all the things that you do, you know, I love the moon. Um, I love the zodiac signs. I'm wearing bats and cats, you know, it's my, it's, it's a lifestyle. Hello, the planet with a palette cooking show. Oh. Oh, oh, is this the final episode that you're going to make? No, I love this show. We do season 15,625, episode 49. Will I? Stay tuned to find out. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the first thing we're going to do with our beautiful chicken we are going to take her out of her ooh, icy cold bath of goodies here. All right. Now, we're going to, ooh, she's going to be so good. 
All right. Mm -hmm. So, now what we are gonna do is we are gonna put some veggies in here to roast with her. Potatoes, potatoes. Please get in this roast. Oh, potatoes, potatoes. You're gonna be the most delicious part of the side of this meal you know why you want to marry the chicken yeah <laughs> oh i thought of a lyric that was not <laughs> suitable <sighs> Gosh, let's get our onions in here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're gonna transfer over some of our aromatics, our carrots for sure. Look, at this. we want some carrots in here. Transfer, I don't think I'll eat the, I don't really love celery cooked as a rule. I love the flavor that it gives a dish but I don't like the texture of it once it cooks. I'm throwing it in here for flavor. You know what, I have an extra carrot that I'm gonna just cut up here because I want a decent amount of carrot. These roasted veggies that are gonna happen in here are gonna be our side, so. There's some carrots. Okay. You know what? I just want to top it here. I actually have some leftover veg from when I grilled. And it's still good. So I'm going to use some of these bell peppers. These are the ones I didn't grill. These are the ones that went into a Ziploc bag. So I'm going to use some of these bells and some of these jalapenos. Remember, this jalapeno is going to pair with the jalapeno stuff I put in earlier. So it's actually, I think it's going to give it a good flavoring. Plus, a lot of what was in that marinade that we marinated these vegetables in was... similar ingredients to what we marinated our chicken in. So I think we've got a good thing going here. Like I said, we don't like to waste veggies in this house and the rest of what's in there is pineapple. So I'll probably be grilling it. All right, next up, we definitely want to hit the top of this a beautiful roast here with some a little bit of salt and A little bit more of our dry seasonings from before. This is our honey lemon old bay. Some pepper. Some of this table blend. A little bit of adobo. And just because I like the spice, a little bit of Creole seasoning to the top here. And now we have a beautiful, very heavy chicken. 
that is ready to roast in the oven. Ain't she cute? She's gonna be delicious. As I told you, we are having a tea party this weekend and we have been dehydrating some fruits. Well, when I say we, I really actually mean Mars. So Mars has been dehydrating some fruits. These are our bananas. We have some dehydrated apple, which I actually put in the thing. So yeah, that's what's going on here. We've got kitchen experiments. We're making tea. People are like, oh, you're a witch. It's so evil. And I'm like, I literally do arts and crafts and make like good food and um, herbal teas. <laughs> it's like, yes, it's actually really wholesome, you guys. We're gonna go ahead and put this thing on 375 for about see how long it takes. What we're looking for again on our chicken is an internal temperature of 165 degrees. The best way to cook meat is with a meat thermometer. That's how well you know that it's always safe to serve and also that it's going to be juicy and delicious in the right temperature. So yeah, that meat thermometer, the one that lights up, really good investment. Best kitchen investments. Also this guy even though we haven't used him in a couple of episodes. He's our friend. You know, he's a Dracula, but he's also very wholesome. Everybody's so creative. <laughs> so it went for an hour and 15 minutes. Ooh, looks good. Smells good. Oh yeah, that chicken is done. Beautiful. We are going to crisp up the top skin by just throwing it in on the air fryer setting for about five minutes on 425. So what can I say so far about our mystery roasted chicken here? What I can say into this process so far is that I may have gotten a little overexcited. <laughs> when I was coming up with the brine for this chicken. It had a lot of ingredients. I'm sure that there's about half of those that you could just take out. Um, I will let you know when I take a bite of it, what I think it needs. But I also am like, you know, proud of my, proud of my weird creativity in the kitchen. Sometimes I come up with something really good. Um, and I love a roasted chicken. I can say it smells fabulous in here. I can smell a lot the pineapple juice, um, but there was also pineapple juice in some of the um, veggies that I put in there, the, the peppers specifically. And then of course, in our marinade as well, we had some, the, the pineapple cubes um, and we had oranges. So it's, there's a citrus kind of flavor or at least scent. Um, I definitely smell the rosemary. Um, so it's earthy, it smells good. It smells really good. I hope it tastes as delicious as it smells, but the smells in here got me doing a classic planet with a palette happy dance. It smells so good. Cue sci-fi lightning effect. Ooh. So it's been in here. I can smell it. We can look at it and the chicken is crisping up on the top, which is exactly what I wanted. Oh, it looks divine. It smells so good in here. Y'all, I really want to share this with you. Like, come over. Let's share a chicken. I want to, like, cue a, like, lightning sci-fi effect here. Like, a really cheesy one. I don't know if my current editing program can do that, but, like, <laughs> Lightning crash. It's alive. Out comes the Franken chicken. 
Oh, she's so pretty. My gosh, you guys. This is really good. It's very full of juice. So I'm gonna be really careful with this. <clears throat> My creation is a real. I be singing a lot, especially 80s songs. From my heart and from my hands, why don't people understand? Weird science, science. All right, weird food science. Hey y'all, so here we are. We've got our chicken feast. I just put this orange on it to be cute. It looks cute. You can check out my Instagram and see the picture of it. It looks so pretty. Okay, so I'm gonna carve up this chicken and we're gonna just get in here. You know what? So I'm right-handed, let's be real here. Oh my gosh, it's so moist. It's from brining it. It helps it hold in its moisture and this is white meat, but it is just, it's oh, so moist, it looks so good. Arthur, your dinner's ready, honey. Get yourself a drink, please, out of the fridge. Do you wanna say hi to everybody? And that you're gonna try out this chicken? Here, come here. Are you gonna try out I'd some like chicken? I'd like to eat some orange. Oh, well, I got an orange slice there for you. You don't eat the side part of it, just the inner part. So peel it off? Yeah, you can eat the middle part. There you go. What do you think of that? All right, here, take your chicken. Go sit down. Do you want dark meat, white meat? What do you prefer? I like dark meat. Okay. I'm gonna get you this thigh and this leg then. Thank you. Yeah, enjoy. I wish I could serve y'all a plate. But I'm gonna serve myself a plate and I'm very excited about that. <laughs> suck his nose. Just kidding. <laughs> I really do wish that I could feed y'all. We have a lot of get togethers. Like we're having this tea party this weekend. We recently had like a movie day. We do stuff. Um, me and my group of friends and we all love to cook and we love to eat. So it is a true celebration. Mm. Gosh, <gasps> so meaty. Okay. I'm excited about this too. Potato, carrot. I love leaving the skins on my carrots. Lots of nutrients in there. Gives it an earthy, woody flavor. I love it. Kind of makes it look more rustic. I feel the same way about skins on potatoes. Mmm. Oh, that's good. It's a champagne cocktail, y'all. I'm so excited about this food. How is it? It's is it? Mm -hmm. Did I go too crazy with the flavors? No, I think it's pretty good. Okay. Mm hmm It's really weird because the flavor, unlike, this is kind of like, I did it sort of like you would do a turkey where the flavor more than coming from like the crispy skin or the, um, you know, like a batter or anything like that on the outside, the flavor is really coming from within the meat, from having brined. And it's, it's subtle, but it's good, it's good.
For all the crazy flavors and things that I put into this meat, it is a very subtle flavor. Right. But it also doesn't feel under seasoned. I mean, I'm a sauce boss. So I definitely can't say that I wouldn't have benefited from a sauce of some sort on this plate. Mm -hmm. Like maybe a gravy. Gravy would have been really good for this. Maybe stuffing and gravy mm -hmm. as a side to this. Cause I guess I'm still thinking that sort of turkey vibe. This is really good though. I'm pleased. You guys can make the weird recipe. I stand by it. Sometimes you're like, look, everybody's so creative. And then they are. <laughs> yeah, this is yummy. And I definitely taste the citrus is really coming through. I'm getting a little bit of the white wine vinegar. Mm, especially in the peppers, because the peppers were in that white wine vinegar mixture that I made for the um, last episode, for the grilling episode. Yeah. that burp to make it in. Everybody's so creative. <laughs> <laughs> you popped right in the side just like living. We both watch your videos. <laughs> we love them. We love you. We grew up this stream. <laughs> Every time it gets me. Mm. Woo! We didn't have to scream about this chicken though. I'm really proud of that. <laughs> yeah, it's good. It's good. I was getting wild in here though. Bruh. When I was like, I think I felt, felt like I pushed too far when I put the pickle juice in. <laughs> but you know what? I don't even really taste that pickle juice. No. There's a, the little, mm -hmm. yeah. There's a little bit of the jalapeno element mm -hmm. there. A little kick from it. Mm -hmm. Oh, hi, baby. You're looking mm -hmm. for some chimkin. Hello. You want some chimkin? You gotta get down, though. Come on. Here you go. There you go. Chicken for you. She likes the chicken too. I already gave her a tiny piece. Go ahead and eat it, silly. Mmm. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Eat it. Oh, and we were gonna put this chicken in like either a soup or chicken and dumplings or chicken salad later. Oh, that's gonna be good. Weirdly enough, I can taste a little bit of cinnamon. Yeah, I can taste the cinnamon too. Mm -hmm. Pretty prevalent in the potatoes. Which is funny because they didn't soak in it. Mm. Uh -huh. Weird. But they're potatoes. Yeah. So they just absorb anything that even thought about happening near it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I just got the perfect bite. <laughs> Chicken. But then I put a jalapeno. Did you try the jalapeno? Yes. A jalapeno, a little bit of onion. Oh my jalapeno gosh. Jalapeno slaps pretty much. Mm, mm hmm These veg. That was my favorite vegetable was the jalapeno. Jalapeno, yeah, that was when I did hey, the happy this, dance. Hey, Zaza, are we really going to? Mm.
I'm thumping my foot like Thumper and Bambi because I'm Twitter pated with these veg and this chicken. Bruh. Well, that was really fun. I was scared I might have gone a little too wild on my brine and it was going to be a mess, but it slaps. So I'm going to continue picking away at this bird, I think. But before I go, mm, but before I go, I want to give a shout out to my Planeteer of the Week, Philly fan. You are so awesome. You're here in every chat, every Friday night, and just always, you know, following me on Insta, checking up on my story. I really appreciate you. Oh my God. I love the idea that you're out there cooking the, the meals that I've been making. Cheers. Gosh, she does. The kitty is singing. I'm over here doing the Texas two-step. It's been a good night. The experimental chicken. If this was Myth Mythbusters, this myth would have been proved. We proved it. Bye, y'all. Thanks so much for joining me. I'll see you next week. Um, please feel free to be part of the upcoming giveaway I have coming. Um, send me an email at planetwapalette at gmail.com and let me know, um, you know, that you have shared my channel. Screenshot me any sharing of my channel on any social media platform and I will enter you to win. And thanks to those of you who've already joined the giveaway, I will enter you to win a t-shirt and a couple other nondescript prizes directly from me to you in your size. You can also send me your t-shirt size. I'm excited about this giveaway y'all. So when I get to 5K is when the prizes come to the winner or winners. I think it's gonna be multiple winners. So stay tuned. Until then, I love you all so much.